Hello everyone, my name is Justin Hodson. I'm the general editor here at the Journal for Undergraduate Multimedia Projects and I want to welcome you to our new site here at thejumpplus.net. We are in the process of rebranding our journal. Um, it coincides with the movement uh, of the journal itself from the University of Texas at Austin to our new site here at jumpplus.net, which is a WordPress site. We have a sort of new place, a new site, and new features, uh, and so part of what I'm trying to do here in this introduction is to welcome you all back, of course, because we've had a bit of a, a layoff between issues, uh, and to introduce you to some of the new things we're hoping to feature as a part of the Jump Plus. I think first and foremost, the blog that you're watching now is, is a, 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 one of our new features. Um, over the years, we've had some folks who've been, encouraged us to expand what it is that we do with the Jump, and so with our third iteration here, right, um, we want to um, attempt to offer a more of a social media presence. So if you're a returning member to the Jump uh, and just checking out the new site, you kind of know what it is we do and how we do it. If you are new to uh, the Journal for Undergraduate Multimedia Projects, I want to take a minute to, or two just to kind of give you a brief introduction, right, so, so it help orient you to, to the site. Uh, what we try and do is publish undergraduate multimedia projects. So every day, every classroom, it seems, you have students across the country who are making, and even outside of the country, who are making really cool multimedia work, but they have no place to publish them other than, you know, on the on the internet in some sort of capacity, but no real academic outlet. If they wrote a, a an essay um, or a really great argument paper, there's spaces for that, both locally and nationally, that they can target for publication, but if they make uh, an amazing video or a really cool interactive web text or um, a profoundly important video game, they don't really have a space to go in terms of the academic um, you know, venue. So we created a venue for academic works, uh, particularly from undergraduates, right, who produce these things as a part of the classes that they are in at any given semester. Now, when we do publish a project, when it's been accepted for publication, we also try then to expand that into its own kind of conversation and to double as a pedagogical entity. So when we publish a project, we include a student reflection and an instructor reflection on the piece. We try and include a project uh, timeline and assignment description, a course description, um, and things of that nature to help, you know, pedagogically situate uh, the work. But, and I think this is sort of really what, what I, I've enjoyed as the value that we bring to the table, is we also ask two members of our editorial collective, or we invite outside members, to create response pieces to the student's work. Um, what that allows for us to do then is to kind of create this little ecology. Sometimes those response pieces are very text-based. Sometimes they take the student's project as a creative invitation and they create their own version. Um, I, we've had videos, we've had um, video games as responses, and so it's been uh, a really fascinating sort of uh, experiment to see the, the ways in which different projects sort of invite different kinds of responses. And so that's what we do. We, we, we look at, review, and evaluate the really cool stuff and really creative stuff and really critical stuff your uh, students make on any given day. It goes through a standard academic review. The projects we decide to accept, uh, we publish, and we publish with this whole sort of assortment of materials. Um, that's what we do. That's what we function. And going forward, we hope to feature more of these things, both informally and formally, as a part of this new um, Jump Plus sort of approach to thinking about multimedia in the classroom.